Hey, this is Elgin and Ethan, and we're here doing a special Wrestling Wednesday video with this guy, Randy Orton, RKO. <laughs> uh, we're gonna open up and take a look at it. We got it on clearance for seven bucks. What? Look at it in just a second. <laughs> Hey, we're back. We got the figure open. He's out of the box. But I wanted to look at the back of the box here first. A quick look see of Randy Orton, uh, his accomplishments. Career highlights he was a WWE champion, Intercontinental champion, and United States champion. Whether you call him the Viper, the Apex Predator, or the Legend Killer, you can't complete his name without RKO. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch, that hurt. <laughs> Snap me in. <laughs> All right, well, I got this at Walmart for seven bucks. Can you believe it? I couldn't. Check that box over there. Let's take a look at the figure. Uh, it didn't really come with any any extra accessories except a couple of hand sculpts, extra hands. They should have done like a sign that says RKO. Yeah, so just a couple of his fingers, like, he's like pointing. I see him first. I see him first. I see, uh, see the hands see first. Hands. So this is the figure here. Um, I don't know. You can kind of see maybe if it'll focus. There he is. He's looking all. This is the young Randy Orton, younger version without his mustache and goatee <laughs> that he had at, at one point in time. Is it gonna work? He has all tattoos. He also has like a, a plastic vest that he can take off. Um, this is kind of the normal articulation for these wrestlers, elite wrestlers. Um, <clears throat> that we can kind of take. Oh yeah, so it's RKO on the back. What does that stand for? Randy. Knockout. Killer Orton. I don't know. <laughs> Kyle Orton. I don't know. It's... Comment below if you. Random. Okay. It's it's probably it's probably his name because it's Randy Orton, so it's probably like his middle name, like Randy Kill Orton. Um, no, nothing. <laughs> I can't see that much. All right, let's get his jacket off here. So this does come off, so you can put that on a different figure if you wanted. I might use it for like the my biker Sons of Eternia figures that I kit bash. <clears throat> you want me to go grab the figures that you can put on? Um, not right now. Okay. Well, yeah, maybe grab uh, McIntyre. Oh, no, just grab McIntyre. Because he's... I don't know who that is. <clears throat> the guy all in black. So not bold. Uh, what? <laughs> no, that's uh, the other guy. McIntyre. So, this is McIntyre. Former Continental Champion, I believe, as well. But we could, you know, put this on him as well. Or so, Mr. Like, D. Or Mr. D. Uh, I'll look at the figure there. <clears throat> Maybe it'll go on this guy. Maybe not, because his arms don't really move that well. Wait, wait, I. Yeah. Get up. He's stealing Randy Horton's jacket. There we go. So he could wear that too if he's like riding a bike. So that'd look cool. <clears throat> he's flexing. Um, this does have some articulation in his torso there. So he can like bend forward like that. Um, he doesn't have the sh extra shoulder articulation like on Mr. T and like the ultimate uh, ultimate wrestlers. These are just elite wrestlers, which are a step above that McIntyre. I think that was like, their standard line. Um, but he does have some extra movement, <clears throat> knees. Uh, ankle, ankle joints, knees, like double knees, elbows, double elbows, wrists, hand movements go in and around. So is this like the second step up from Mr. T? <laughs> yeah, elites are like the the they're a good version of figures. We we can do a we can do a step up. Yeah, so level if, one. So these uh, these are kind of your basic wrestling figures. It's McIntyre that I repainted. Um, not a lot of articulation in this figure. And then I'd level say two. 
go up to like the elite figures with have a little more articulation to do wrestling moves. And then of course you get the ultimates. Level three. Um, with that extra butterfly um, shoulder movement like that. So you can bend it back. Kind of like this. Yeah. Um, and he has the extra toe articulation. Wiggleman. Wiggle, <laughs> which he doesn't have on here. But so it's <clears throat> but these are pretty common, these elite or figures. Here. Ultimate figures are a little more expensive. Um, unless you get on clearance, which actually I got this on clearance uh, at Target a while ago. Check Don't out that video. I don't remember. It's 15 bucks. It was a half price. And then this was 7 bucks. That McIntyre was on Amazon Prime. On Prime Day, I got that uh, last year for nothing. It came with that wreck and bike. So I don't really pay a lot for wrestling figures if I don't have to. Uh, I don't collect them exclusively. I like to use them as kit bash figures to get them cheap. So You should collect more <clears throat> Clarence off Elite. But not like, like well, and Elite and Ultimate. Yeah. I also put... There's, the not, there's not a lot of Ultimate figures that go to Clarence. Sometimes I do. And if I if I can find them, um, I'll probably pick them I'll up. I'll spend money for you. Yeah, there was, I think I saw there was supposed to be... A, a oh the uh, ultimate warrior like the legend series of that that was supposed to go on clearance which would have been a good price i'm having too much fun with <clears> the <throat> character anyway that's yeah. randy orton rko the legend killer viper Rock. all those all those names um yes. but yeah if you can find a walmart and it's on clearance pick it up because for seven bucks why not you can use it for kit bash you can use it for wrestling stuff you can use it for wrestling Wednesday so that's pretty much it for, for the video <clears throat> sure to check out our website which is www.cracktasticplastic.com the web place is a place to go for all the things you need to know like links to our social medias uh patreon our sponsors big bad toy store and toy hacks um did I say patreon already yes uh for five dollars a month you can be part of a patreon it's the first tier uh be part of our exclusive chat and talk toys whatever you want to talk about there and there's Amazon wish lists, there's bios, there's all the good stuff there. That's www.cracktasticclassic.com. Uh, this has so, been so yes. these two are both ultimates, um, uh, probably. Uh, yeah, I think this is elite, I think it's an elite. This is an elite figure. The RK, the RK is an elite, and I believe this Camarilla, which I think I got because Mattel messed up something and they had to send me a figure. <clears throat> So, 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 what is it? Is it an elite? I think it was regular. Well, it's got pretty good articulation. I can't remember what it was. I'd have to go look at the video I did for this. <laughs> Why does this kind of look like he's doing the forest joke? I don't know. He's, like, he's supposed, supposed to be riding a motorcycle. That's what the whole thing was. Anyway, uh, yeah. So that's the figure. This is Randy Orton saying, "See you later," and Ethan and Elgin are saying, "Ciao," for now.